Hey there everybody, it's Saturday afternoon, uh, last night was a work night so I'm pretty tired, um, but I have good news. The package I mentioned in my last video, the UNI-T lab power supply, did come in the mail. Um, and I've got that right there, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing overview and set it up on my desk. Overall, the packaging looks okay. There's a little bit of damage. Uh, we'll see, it should be fine though. Okay guys, first things first, they sent me the wrong kind of cable, um, maybe that's specified in the link, I'll double check, but it's kind of shitty, uh, sorry, it is just a basic three prong, so I should be able to come up with another one to power it with, um, still, uh, would have been nice if they maybe mentioned it in the title or something like that, and I've definitely seen other ones come with the right cable, so. Okay, I was able to find this three-prong power plug uh, in my garage for an old Macintosh SE, so I'm going to plug it in and see if it works. I think it will. It's about the same gauge as the one that comes with it, so it should be fine. Another quick note, on the back of the machine here, uh, there's a switch to change it from 220 to 110 volt, or US, uh, so I just switched that to 110. Alright, so let's see if I can get it so you can see this. I've got the fan here, and... If I turn it up... As high as it can go, it will take as much current as it can handle. I can go ahead and dial down the voltage with the fine knob. And then I can actually go ahead and then dial down the current. So right now it's in constant voltage. And if I turn down the current, it goes to constant current. I can then mess with the voltage knob and it won't change anything. I want to go ahead and take this moment to let you guys know I've got an affiliate link for this power supply down below for Amazon. I've also got my social media accounts and if you guys are enjoying this video go ahead and like or subscribe to go ahead and support the channel um, or give me a comment let me know what you think. Um, I love it when people engage with the videos.
Alright, so here, see it's switching back and forth between the limiting factor, whether it's the voltage uh, or the current. So right now, it's in constant current. So the limiting factor is a current. If I raise it, the limiting factor is in the voltage. Alright, so I've got it tucked away in the corner right there, which works pretty well. It's kind of uh, deep, the dimension, so that's what fits. I did have it right there, closer to my monitor mount, but it just stuck out too far. Um, so that way I have good access to it, and my other tools next to it, having it in the corner. Overall, I would give the power supply itself, if I have to like give an initial review uh, without having too much time or experience with it. I'm going to honestly give the thing itself a 5 out of 5 for the price I paid. Um, that's excluding that it came with the wrong power cord. Um, if that was fixed, I'm going to go ahead and just ignore it and focus on the power supply itself. But based on the way it looks, I appreciate Um and the build quality. I like the knobs. I like the fine and coarse. Um, they're very sensitive. It's like, it feels quality. It feels good. Um, and overall, I think it's a great addition to my tool set and looks nice on my desk. I really like the red, but I may end up plasti dipping it white. We'll see. Um, I think it looks good by itself, but it would match my desk in my space much better if it was white. One thing though, I don't know if you can hear it, but the fan on this power supply actually is pretty loud. Um, unlike the oscilloscope, personally, I don't have a problem with it. But this one, it's pretty noisy. It's just a minor thing though. And the moment I know I've been waiting for.